Hey, I'm Carrie. Welcome back to my channel or welcome for the first time all around. Welcome. I'm Carrie Blogger, a career freelancer on Fiverr.com where I've been selling as a Fiverr Pro verified copywriter for about the past seven years. I guess actually my mom pointed out I'm going into eight years, so maybe I have to change my intro. But anyway, in today's Freelance Friday video, I am going to be doing a very exciting review or at least I'm excited. Hey Whipple, squeeze this. The classic guide to creating great ads by Luke Sullivan and Edward. Bosch's and uh, this one's kind of hefty and I read it in about a week and I so, so thoroughly enjoyed it. This is the second book in my little emerging copywriting book review series that I'm making. The first one last week took me by surprise. I was not super thrilled about the start that I got. Kind of the goal of this series is to help you, hopefully, if you're looking for copywriting books that you wanna see like what's actually gonna be helpful, what do I think is gonna give me real tools to success, what might be like a little bit misleading in some ways, like last week's book. This one I had much higher hopes for just for the fact that a subscriber recommended this to me, loved it, it was so funny. It was so transparent. It is everything that I hope that this channel is even in some tiny little way. I'm gonna go a bit into like what the book covered, what my favorite things were and like how I felt in this kind of like journey that I had going through this book. First of all, this was a hilarious read. I, okay, this, this book review is gonna take like so many tangents in here, so stick with me. I used to love reading as a kid. I was like the kid who had no friends. Like I had like one friend in elementary school. It was always like the other rejects. I would be inside like doing extra credit like homework or like reading during recess because like I was bullied and so I read a lot and I love to read. Then in middle school I got busy with other stuff. Reading just didn't happen. I have always loved to read for school. I've always loved to learn but reading itself I've completely dropped until about two and a half years ago, maybe three years ago now, I started getting back into audiobooks, which I love, love, love. And that has allowed me to reclaim the joy of reading without the thing I don't like, which is sitting down to physically read something. And I kid you not, with this book, I did not mind at all sitting down to read something. I loved reading this book. It was so entertaining. It was so focused and clear and just like unapologetically strong. And I loved that this author kept saying, here's a rule, but also break all the rules. Or he'd say, you know, don't ever do this, but if you do, do it really well. It just really made it feel so genuine and trustworthy in a way that I felt like I was never getting like sold into a weird system or a very niche way of thinking, but it just really got you to start thinking. So essentially I see the book built into three parts. It wasn't actually separated that way in here, but that's how I see it. The first third was really about the framework of copywriting, headline, body text, imagery. How do you do it in a way that makes sense? How do you make something interesting? What is the process of getting there? How do you know what rules to break and what rules to follow? This is such a terrible synopsis of this, but it really completely kickstarted my creativity. It made me like, challenged on a creative level just reading this and thinking I'm really proud of all the work that I deliver to my clients but sometimes especially in the freelance space I kind of allow myself to take the vanilla road because I want the client to be really happy the first time I want them to feel like I hit their brief did what they wanted I've done it well and it's going to work for them but that doesn't always come across as super creatively fulfilling for me or especially challenging for me sometimes I feel like I can kind of hit autopilot just a little bit and I can still deliver great work for them without truly stretching myself and the first third of this book not only made me want to do a better job for myself and to really reclaim kind of what has been the slightly like dying flame of creativity inside of me, especially over the course of this year, which has been hard for everybody for a number of reasons. It just was so creatively inspiring. If you want to read something that makes you excited to go to work, even if this is not the exact work that you're doing, and to be excited about what you're creating, the ideas that you have, the opportunities you can make, and like the possibilities that are out there if you're not just completely diminishing yourself. That's what the first third of this book was. It was so, so good. And they have amazing examples in here. And uh, the unique combination of their silly little bit.ly links in here, so you could find actual samples on YouTube versus things that were actually printed into the book. It 
it was great. I loved the mix of that and being able to see so many like best practice examples without getting stuck into like a step-by-step -step rigid framework of like, this is how you do it. Because this whole book was like, there is no one way to do it. I was about a third of the way through and I literally told my husband, new plan. I'm gonna try to get into an advertising program, hopefully in Canada. Let's see if we can get out of the United States. <laughs> I'll get a visa for us. And when I'm gonna go to school to get into actual advertising. Like I want to study this. I want to get into it. I wanna do this it's just so cool and creative and exciting and awesome. And it just sparked something in me and I loved it. The second part of the book was um, mostly like the social media, emerging media, new stuff, digital, I guess is what you'd call it. And that was the weakest point of the book for me. It felt like because there were two authors working on this together, um, some of the writing didn't really feel like there was a voice that I was listening to. There were more mistakes. And at points, it just felt a little bit like getting too stuck in the weeds. Too specific for the fact that already this book is a little bit out of date, which they alluded to in here. And then I felt like, mm, but I don't even like social media and, and digital is a little iffy and there's a lot to learn and there's a lot of things I don't know. Felt a little bit overwhelming for me personally in my emotional roller coaster that was reading this book. And then the third chunk of the book was absolutely funny. And that was what it was like really like to be in the ad world, to be in an ad agency. Not only did it talk about how to get into the agency, where you should be studying, what you should do to put your book together, what you should do for the interview, but also like who you will run into, the bad clients that you're gonna have to fight with, the obnoxious people in the ad world that are maybe not helping you be the best you can be. And I really loved at the end, it had a very thorough list of some recommended reading and why you should be interested in reading those books. So overall, the end of the book brought me back down to reality and said, you know, looking at how the ad world works, how traditional agencies work, I think I'm still very happy in my freelance bubble and not ready to potentially throw myself into that. But it just felt so, so well-rounded as a book and I cannot, recommend this highly enough. It was so fascinating. And I feel like I'm just giving a lot of like general descriptions and stuff, but really it's, it's kind of a book that you need to read and you'll get your own stuff out of it. I think more than even like traditional rules and ideas and like buyer psychology frameworks and everything that fits in a nice little square. It just challenged me creatively and it really inspired a new idea about the way I see myself working and how I want that to be. When I kind of conceptualized making this video series, I kind of was hoping that all of these books I would be able to recommend or review with some kind of like a professional's opinion on the topic. My specialty or niche that I've kind of gotten myself into just being self-taught and intuitively taking in what I've gotten from the market around me. I specialize in website content, e-commerce product descriptions, blogs, and email campaigns with branding kind of as well mixed into that. This book, I did not feel like an expert because this area of copywriting is so completely foreign to what I am personally doing. And that is the world of like traditional advertising. So in the book, they were talking about print ads in a magazine and in newspapers, ad campaigns on social media, television spots, radio advertising, and none of those things are things that I do. And that's one of the interesting things about copywriting as a whole. It's so big and like there's so many sectors of this and things that you can like specialize in and like where you find your niche. And it was just really, really interesting to be able to read this and feel like even though this is what I do every day, this is not what I do every day. And it was so fascinating. I don't know, it was great guys. I so, so recommend this book. And thank you, Yousef, for recommending it to me. And if you, like me, had never heard of the Mr. Whipple ads, the title will make no sense to you, but I promise it's explained in the book, which is also really funny. In terms of copywriting specifically and the kind of world that I'm in and the kind of work that I do for my clients. No, it wasn't particularly uh, rigorous, uh, thorough, comprehensive, helpful, all of those words are the wrong word. It's not a framework for writing copy. It's not going to teach you like a course would teach you, but it is so going to inspire you to do your very best work and to dream bigger and be more creative. So if you're looking for that, yes, 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 yes. And we all should be looking for that, honestly. All right, I'm tired of holding this book and I've been talking for way too long. Thank you so much for being here. If you're still watching, you know you. 
are my actual hero. Thank you so much for being here. Please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. I post every Freelance Friday and on One Take Tuesdays, and you can check in with me right here or on Fiverr. I'm Carrie Blogger. If you have a question for a future Freelance Friday video, please be sure to comment that down below and I will do my best to get to it soon, hopefully. And uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna keep reading and enjoying my little work vacation right now. Remember to take a deep breath because you have earned it and you are worth it. Now let's get back to work.